Trilobites are one of the most fascinating ancient arthropods. They appeared together with many other complex creatures during the Cambrian explosion some 500 million years ago. They lived a highly adaptive life with their perfect forms and remained prolific in the Cambrian seas for over 250 million years. They came in dazzling variety and are the best preserved members of the Paleozoic group. But what truly captivated scientists about trilobites was their marvelous compound eyes. The eyes of trilobites existed with unbelievable complexity, perfection, and superiority at a time when according to evolutionists, no complex life should have existed. The most important and distinguishing feature in trilobite eyes is calcite. Calcite is one of the commonest and most durable minerals on Earth. Buildings made of calcite-rich limestone thousands of years ago still stand strong and beautiful. The calcite found in the eyes of trilobite is transparent and allows light to pass through. The presence of this optical calcite in the eyes of trilobites makes them totally unique in the entire animal kingdom as eyes of nearly all animals are composed of soft organic material. And because their eyes were made of calcite like the rest of their body, they too have been very well preserved and reveal astonishing detail about their structure and function. Most trilobites had compound eyes of holocryl type with many thousands of closely packed hexagonal lenses. Each lens captured an image from a slightly different angle forming a mosaic-like picture and giving the trilobite a wide range of vision to perceive danger from any direction. The resolution and detail of the images also depended on the number of lenses they had. One species of trilobite had 3000 lenses per eye and another had 15000. The complexity of their eyes and brain's ability to process images from thousands of lenses that early in life must have been incredibly great. It has been established that the compound eyes of ancient trilobites were as advanced in function as the eyes of dragonflies today. One particular group of trilobites, Phacopina, had a remarkably superior visual system, the like of which never appeared again in any living being. These trilobites had eyes with a few to few hundred separated lenses that were larger and thicker. The shape of these lenses looked more like a marble, and if you gaze through a clear marble, you will see that it reflects light at different angles, resulting in a blurry and disk image. Since the lenses of Echopids were made of thick crystal, they too must have experienced the same problem. But in the 1970s, when Mr. Kenneth Toh shone light through the lenses of trilobite, instead of getting a blurry, ill-focused image, he obtained an extremely sharp image. The reason for this exceedingly sharp image was only discovered many years Years later, when paleontologist Jan Clarkson and physicist Ricardo Levi had examined and found out that the lens in trilobite eyes had an extraordinary shape. These lenses perfectly matched the two ideal shapes worked out by the 17th century optic pioneers Ricardo and Eugene to counteract spherical pressure. They were totally unaware of the fact that the very designs they proposed were being used by trilobites already 500 million years ago. There was another surprising fact that came to light. The lens in the eyes of the trilobite was not a single one but a doublet. This doublet nature of lenses is something only humans have invented. It is not ever observed in any other animal. Since trilobites live underwater and the refractive index of water is different from that of air, the second lens unit along with the ideal shape was absolutely necessary. The second lens unit with a lower refractive index based on chitin and intricately arranged magnesium atoms at the interface between the two lenses helped bring the light to focus at a single point and thus allowed the trilobite to get an extremely sharp image of its surroundings. The trilobite with its extraordinary visual system shocked scientists so much so that they were perplexed even considered it a reality. These shocking discoveries about trilobite eyes gave rise to many questions. How did trilobite know the optical properties of calcite and use it for vision? How did it get the ideal lens shape that only expert opticians could draw? How did it know that a second lens with a lower refractive index would be needed underwater? Moreover, how did both lenses happen to align perfectly to meet the trilobite's visual needs? Did trilobite think of it all and develop these astonishing eyes by itself? It is true that the trilobite itself had no power to make any changes in its body, nor can any of this ever be explained in terms of evolution because trilobites appeared suddenly and such eyes existed never before and never after. The miraculous existence of trilobites and the stunning and unmatchable structure of their eyes could only be the masterwork of a supreme creator who is all-knowing and all-powerful. He is the one who gave trilobites and all other living beings astonishing features compatible with their surroundings right from the moment they first appeared on Earth.